Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Hydra uh, action figure here. Um, like what I'm doing with the aim figures, I'm gonna focus on the aim figures first and I'll work on Hydra after that. And I'll get Hellfire once I get the Hellfire figures, like with uh, Sebastian and all those other figures. Um, but yeah, here's the Hydra box here. So you get that picture with all the with the army of the Hydra figures there. You get the Hydra logo, Sol a troop soldiers and soldada, a soldado, uh, and then more of those figures. You get the Marvel Legends logo there. Same deal on the, that one, four plus. Same deal on that side. Then here's the back, not much going on there. You get the Marvel logo on the top and here's the bottom with nothing else. Besides that, let's crack it open. And here's the Hydra uh, Soldier out of the packaging here. So he only has two accessories. So he has this little shotgun looking gun here. So yeah, we've seen this blaster before from the AIM figures too. It's just repainted. It looks like it's a, like a green metallic looking dark green, I guess, with a little bit of silver into it. So yeah, we've seen this blaster before. So this one's pretty cool though. I like the color with it. And then we also get like this pistol here, which we've also seen. Uh, they included this one for some reason with Deadpool, the movie one, which was kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, we've seen this before. Same paint as the machine gun here. So yeah. So yeah, we've seen this before. And then the figure itself. So here's the Hydra troop there. So you get the red eyes. You get that nice green looking mask over his head there nice head sculpt he looks pissed you get that h there on his uh chest you get some pockets on this little vest thing whatever you want to call it and he has a pig hole here for some reason i wish they had like these little pigs for on these so they could put on his back or something but they don't so i don't know why they have pig holes for these figures or if they're not going to do that and this is a separate piece, so if you want to, you could probably disassemble the figure and take it off, but I'm not going to, like I've said. You get that yellow Hydra logo there on the shoulders. So there's that. You get that green throughout the figure here. You get his little utility belt with that little silver on the buckle. You get more of those pouches on his belt. There, so there's that, and you should be able to take it off just by that. So that's pretty easy. I'm not gonna do that because this thing is those things are pretty easy to lose uh, because I know that because my brother and sister do that all the time and I always lose pieces somehow and I managed to find them. Uh, and then you get the yellow boots. So yeah, we've seen, and this is the same uh, body sculpt that we've seen before with other figures, a bunch of them actually. I just don't, don't know which ones exactly. I can't really remember, but yeah, let's go over his articulation here. It says, hey, hey, hey. Head can inch down that far, up pretty far. Uh, you get him to shift forward and backwards a little bit. You get to get him to look left and right. You get a little, very little head pivoting there. His shoulders can go out way past 90 degrees there, so that's really good. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. You got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, his wrist can hinge down that far up that far and then 360 rotation uh he has an ab crunch so you can go forward that far backwards that far he has a waist swivel so you get 360 rotation around there his legs could kick out just a little bit forward quite a bit backwards actually a little bit more than usual than other figures you got a thigh cut there you got double jointed knees there you got a shin cut there and then his ankles can hinge down that far uh, up, up, there we go, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So yeah, this figure is pretty cool. I like them a lot. They're nice and affordable. Uh, I know that because mainly because it's just, they don't put a bunch of effort into it. It doesn't take a lot to make it look like a Hydra soldier and using a bunch of paint and detailing. So that's pretty easy. So yeah, like I've said, I'm gonna get work on the AIM soldiers first and then I'll do Hydra. Uh, once I have enough money and stuff, but uh, I like those figures because they're pretty cheap 15 bucks for each one. So yeah, and yeah uh, 
besides that, that's all I've got. I'm gonna work, and then I will get one Hellfire figure sometime soon. They're up for pre-order, I think, still. I don't know if they're shipping them out or not right now. But, yeah, I will get the Hellfire um, henchmen soon. But besides that, that's all I've got.